Tammy Lee Oldham woke up and discovered that her fiancé, Richard Sharp, had disappeared, leaving her alone in the middle of the ocean. Everyone warned them not to go on this dangerous voyage, but they ignored them. Everyone thought they were dead and lost hope of ever appearing again. But after 40 days, the world discovered the horrific truth of what had happened to them. It was very terrifying, the waves were as tall as the buildings, and the storm was violent. The last thing Tammy heard was the voice of her fiancé screaming, Oh my God! Then her head hit the wall of the ship and she fainted. And when she finally woke up, the ship was wrecked. She kept looking for her fiancé and calling him at the top of her voice, but he disappeared completely. Tammy was shocked and sat down crying from the misfortune that had befallen her. It was then that she began to remember the past, and how circumstances led them to this complicated situation. Tammy remembered the first time she met her fiancé on a cruise. The two loved sailing on the ocean, so they became close friends. She always went with him on dangerous cruises, and their relationship developed rapidly. She was surprised that Richard asked her to marry him officially while they were on the deck of a ship. A new chapter in their lives began when Tammy agreed to become his eternal wife. Because the sea witnessed their love story, they spent most of their time there. They even planned to have their wedding on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Unfortunately, life was hard on them, and those beautiful dreams were shattered. One day, the two of them were planning a trip to the Pacific Ocean. It was then that a friend of theirs offered to take his own ship instead of renting one for a hefty sum. He asked them to take him to another city on the same route as their sea voyage. Although it was a long trip, about 4,000 miles, it was mutually beneficial, and they agreed to take the ship. Unfortunately, Tammy didn't know that they would regret the trip. The two of them started sailing across the ocean, and everything was going normally. Three weeks had passed since the trip began, and that's when Tammy and her fiancé noticed something fishy. The clouds began to gather in the sky, and the winds became fast and violent. The betrothed realized that this was the beginning of a strong storm and they had to escape quickly. They tried everything they could to get out of the storm's course, but failed. High winds were pushing them forward, and the ship got out of control. Tammy and her fiancé succumbed to the storm and began to pray for a safe exit. But contrary to their expectations, the storm was like a terrifying and frightening nightmare. The huge waves reached a height of about 44 meters, and the wind turned into a hurricane. Tammy thought it was the end of their lives and began to say her last prayers. But her fiancé refused to give up, telling her to immediately hide in the basement of the ship. He gave her the only life suit on the ship while he remained on the surface. And shut the door on her so that she wouldn't get hurt if the ship crashed. Her fiancé kept trying to get the ship out of the storm, but disaster struck. One of the waves took them to a great height, and then violently brought them down. According to Tammy's statements, the last thing she remembers before she passed out was her fiancé screaming. I felt like we were flying in the air, and then my fiancé shouted from the top floor, oh my god. When Tammy woke up, she discovered that she was in a difficult, unescapable predicament. After the disappearance of her fiancé, she realized that he had drowned and that she would soon face the same fate. But she refused to surrender to death, and decided to use her naval skills to survive. She converted the wrecked ship's remains into a boat and began searching for land. She collected the food left on the ship, and she ate it very carefully so as not to finish it. She refused to give up hope, realizing that she was in the middle of the vast Pacific Ocean. After 41 full days of suffering and fear, circumstances began to smile at her. Tammy finally found an island inhabited by people. And she was crying so hard when her feet touched the sand, after thinking that she would die in the ocean. She was immediately referred to the hospital, as she was dehydrated and had several serious injuries. Unfortunately, to this day, her fiancé's body is still missing in the ocean. Tammy grieved for him and went into a prolonged depression due to his death. But she decided to immortalize their love story in a novel she wrote about that terrible incident. The novel is called Red Sky in Morning. This novel was a huge success and was made into a movie called Adrift. As the years passed, Tammy began to move beyond her grief and open her heart again to love. She married another man, had two children and a happy family. Life is like sailing a rough ocean, and love is the wind that rises and falls on us. 
Tammy Oldham.